Hello guys, welcome to the second tutorial of my time lapse tutorials series. First episode uh, I showed you how to edit batch edit multiple images in Lightroom C uh, Lightroom 5 and now I'm going to show you how to actually put all those edited images into a sequence and create a final movie clip. So we are in After Effects CS6 right now. But well, first let's get to it. We file we need to import our images. So file import file we go to our edited images in our folder that we had. Go into edit and that folder before. We go to the first image, as you can see right here, it says JPEG sequence. We automatically do it. So we just we automatically import all of them in order. We just click the first one, open. And that will show up right here. As you can see here, it says JPEG sequence. If we move to the other side, the frame is 30 frames in here. Well, frame rate, oh, it's 30 frame rate. So what we do is drag this. Grab it, drag it into this little icon here, which is for a new composition. That will create a new composition. Here's our movie clip right here. Just zoom out a bit. So what we do here is new composition here, and this is our original thing. So right-click this composition, go to composition settings, and here we can change our image name. Well, not image, the composition name to what our final clip is, which is like time lapse. And here you can see it's a bit big. It's a 3 to 2 ratio right here, 5,000 pixels. So what we want to do is we want to make it to 1080p, 24 frames a second. So we go to the preset, we go to HDTV 1080. We change that and we can see here it's 7 seconds long. Press OK. And here you can see the clip. There's a 1080p, this little tiny square, and this is our massive image. So all we want to do is we want to grab this corner, hold shift, and just will adjust it and keep that the aspect ratio in, in the right aspect ratio. So we zoom in, so you get a better view of it. Obviously, you can zoom in more and move it around if you want, but let's just leave it like that for now. And to be honest, that's all for that's completed. It did it all itself. It's really simple. It's seven seconds long. If we zoom out here, you can see just I'm just all oh, about seven seconds long. So that's done. So what we do is file. And export it so we add to render queue and here's all the settings to be honest the best settings are lossless how it is lossless is not there's no whatever okay time lapse dot mov that's the output where we're going to be my i think mine's on the desktop so what we do press render and that should take about a minute a minute and a half and while we wait for that well i'm not waiting for it but i'll just tell you that that's, that's it, it will, there'll be a file on your desktop after this, that is a uh, quicktime.mov. You just double click that, and if you go Mac, it will convert it. I think it should convert it for any of them, but it will convert it into a, a playable file. And I will, I will show you at the end of this. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next episode, I will show you how to have zooms, zooming in out, and panning from left to right to make it look more cinematic. Not it's boring just standing still just a still image with the clouds moving it's nice but add a bit of motion to it so look out for that video it should be up at the same time to be honest thank you bye bye